and welcome back to another plan with me. Happy spring. This week I'm still featuring the same Paisley cover from Erin Condren. A poofy, puffy, I don't know what to call that, puff ball <laughs> from Michael's, from my collections collection. And my peach palm clips. Here's a look at last week's spread. I will link to that video for you guys, of course. That was using a Hello Petite Paper Company kit. And it was for the, um, for the last official week of winter. It was just... Kind of a nice segue, I felt like. This week, I am celebrating the first week of spring with a kit that Chrissy Ann Designs, uh, Kristen actually, sent me from Chrissy Ann Designs, and it is the Rose Gold Floral Kit. Uh, very beautiful, very, very spring. It just kind of like rang spring to me, so I decided to go for it. And I decided to go ahead and try doing day covers, which I've never actually used before but she also sent me these date cover numbers to fill in and I was like okay I'll go there I'll give it a try so um, you guys will see how that kind of plays out because it definitely turns even more into no white space planning than it already has been lately and let's be honest it's been pretty darn close to no white space planning it's like a total 180 from how I used to plan but you know you go with the flow your mood changes, what you want to do changes, what works for you changes. Um, don't resist the change. You know if something's not working for you, if you don't want to do it anymore, if you don't want to keep up with your planner. Well, maybe something about the way you use your planner isn't quite right for you. So that's my kind of friendly neighborhood planner advice. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying here. So there was no um, washi included in other okay let me rephrase there was some washi included in this kit this kit is not necessarily designed um, just for the Erin Condren life planner I think it's designed for to fit a variety of things um, so there's no washi strips that exactly fit at the bottom of the Erin Condren life planner vertical um, orientation you know weekly spread like that so I used some washi I'd had on hand that was actually a pretty good color match and the couple of washi strips um, provided in the kit to kind of make my own and I really like the way it turned out these are vinyl stickers which historically I haven't had the best luck with only because they're pretty permanent once you put them down on the paper um, they're probably the most permanent like stickers that I have used and even compared to some of the glossy ones that I feel like I can never move you can get a little wiggle room out of some of those if you're pretty careful these you really can't but I have noticed that you can pick them up when it's on top of another vinyl sticker so for instance if I put the today header down kind of wonky it's resting mostly on top of two other stickers I can pretty much move that without issue. It's just if the whole sticker is flat on the page, forget it. Um, <laughs> that's what I've discovered at least. Uh, and it is a different kind of sticker quality. Um, a different sticker experience maybe I should say. I feel like really weird talking about sticker experiences, but if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you feel me. Oh yes, and definitely recommend using a pen like this. Is the, this is the Le Pen Permanent on vinyl stickers. They are the, I think the hardest stickers to write on. So you need to find a really nice permanent pen to work on top of those. Anywho, uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh yes, yeah, sticker quality or what experience of stickers. They're, uh, you know, vinyl's very interesting. It's kind of fun to play with, I think. Um, it definitely has a different feel on the page. It's definitely a softer feel and a softer look. Um, you don't get that same brilliance as you do with super glossy stickers, and you don't get the flexibility you get with matte repositional stick, uh, repositionable stickers. Um, but it is just different, and I think it's just a matter of personal preference. I haven't been a fan of vinyl in the past, mostly because I'm just so scared of putting it down on the paper and not being able to move it. But I've kind of gotten over that in the past few months, and I'm just and I just kind of lead stickers crooked now. Like they're never straight. Let's be honest, my my stickering is never exactly straight. Uh, but they oh, did you see that? I just picked up a vinyl sticker. Hmm. So maybe I think maybe if you don't push it, press them down really hard right away you can pick them up so maybe I stand corrected I don't even remember this was like a week ago how do I not remember what happened a week ago I'll tell you how mommy brain problems mommy brain brain problems folks anyway I've much more enjoying the vinyl sticker life lately than I have ever before and um, 
I don't know, it's just, it's kind of nice for a change of pace. So yeah, thought I'd just share that with you. Uh, anyway, if you're new to these Plan With Me videos, how I do this generally is I plan every night for the day before. Now sometimes I plan a couple days at the same time, like maybe on a Sunday, if I know I'm not gonna have time on Monday, I'll do a couple of days, I'll do Monday and Tuesday. Normally if I'm planning in advance at all, it's Thursday and I know I have a busy weekend that I'll plan the whole weekend out. Uh, but most, more often than not, I am planning the night before the, the next day. I sit down kind of right before I turn in for the night um, at my desk and I just have it set up with my camera and lights overhead so it works out fine uh, for me to just do it, you know, like real time filming action here. And I use the vertical spread, it's my favorite. Um, I use the horizontal spread for journaling and I'm hoping to have a video about how I use my horizontal Erin Condren Life Planner. I have two of them actually for journaling next week on Pretty Neat Living, which is my main channel, which I will have a link to below. I always have a link to below. Uh, so that is my plan. We'll see if I can get it filmed this week. We're traveling, so I need to get my act together. Uh, but that is the plan. Uh, anyway, I prefer to use the vertical spread for planning. I've used it for years now. Um, this might be my third or fourth year using it. I don't know exactly off the top of my head. But it's just the format works for me. I feel comfortable in it. Um, again, like I was saying before, you just kind of, if it's not working for you, you'll know because you're not using it. Do you know what I mean? You guys you guys feel me. I know you do. Same, I have the same principle about or my organizing as well. Like anything I organize in my house, if it's not staying organized, if I'm not like naturally inclined to put things away back in their order that I've set up for them, then that organizational system is not working for me anymore and then I change it. But more often than not, I, I don't change up my organizational systems all that often and that's why I don't have a lot of new organization content on my main channel a lot because I don't reorganize things just for the sake of reorganizing them. If they're working for me and my family, I'm not gonna mess that up um, just to make a video about it and yeah. So that was a little bit of a sidetrack there. Getting back to here, what I do is I use a top box, I use a usually a full decorative box and just, just layer on a label sticker, sticker, usually a quarter box or a half box, um, and I dedicate that top box to kind of general content goals for the day. And then the middle box is my um, personal life to-do list, and this is just usually a mishmash of things that is are on my brain that I want to have written down doesn't necessarily follow any rhyme or reason um, it's just the way I don't know it's just whatever I decide to write down and having myself limited to a to-do list with only six or seven bullet points instead of list after list after list as I've done in the past has really been working for me lately it's just keep it short and to the point it's been working for my brain that doesn't mean that I'll go back to having super long to-do lists in the future. I probably will at some point. I really don't know. It depends. Um, but right now, this is what's working for me. And then that bottom box I use for anything kind of to stand out. Appointments, special occasions, um, you know, fun times with loved ones, stuff like that. And I also do some meal planning down there. Although, now that we get HelloFresh three times a week, which is like a meal prep subscription service, I don't know how I, if I really need to keep doing that, <laughs> you know, doing the uh, the meal, the meal planning at the bottom because it, I don't know, it just seems I don't know, whatever. Um, but anyway, and then on the weekend, I kind of treat the weekend as you know, general to dos for the weekend. Um, top box on Saturdays for my content wish list to get done. Usually doesn't all get done, but it's kind of what I have in mind. And then the bottom box of Sunday is for personal. Uh, to-do list stuff. I try to prioritize time with my family on the weekends, but I also get a little bit of a chance to film. I normally film on the weekends because Don is home and he can hang out with Charlotte. Um, so I try to balance that time uh, well. And then I'm just layering in some of my favorite um, stickers from Once More With Love My Munchkins. I just placed a new order. I'm so excited. I'll definitely share when I get those in. We went on our very first date night since Charlotte was born. So it's been like over 15 months last weekend and we had so much fun we just went to town we didn't go that far um, but we went to town we went to a Greek restaurant in town that we really like 
for dinner and then we went to see Beauty and the Beast which was amazing and we both loved it and I can't wait till it comes out on DVD um, so yeah that was really fun so the middle boxes of the weekend of Saturday and Sunday I usually put down plans we have on Sunday we drove up to Milwaukee to spend time with some friends of ours and uh, we recently had our bathtub pipe was um, leaking so we couldn't use our tub for a long time and we had it fixed the end of last week so I was so excited to get back in the bath because it's been so long since I've had a nice bath anyway um, I kind of <laughs> sped through that really fast so I always add in some photos for the weekend to kind of remember little bit of memory planning in my regular weekly spreads. Um, the date covers were nice. I think I, I prefer just having the dates as they are shown, but it was fun to play with. Um, and I do think it looks really nice and cohesive, but I like the way that the dates stand out a little bit more. Um, just the way they're printed in the in the planner. And because it's the neutral planner, they're just in black and I just, I don't know, I like the way they look. Um, but it was fun to play with and I really enjoyed this kit. I think it was just so soft and beautiful. Celebration of the first week of spring. Thank you so much, Kristen, for sending me this. That was really, really kind of you and I'm so happy that I, I could use it for this first week of spring. Anyway, I hope you guys are well. Thank you for watching and happy, happy planning. Bye, you guys.